Hi again everybody, this is Lingo Twist and today we are doing part 2 of tutorials. As you can see, everything is pretty much clear right now. I took everything off so that we could start from scratch and I can show you guys how to manipulate your code a little bit. What I basically want to do is show you the steps. I'm not going to get too much in depth of what it is exactly that you want to do because you have to go through the code and tweak it yourself and learn it for yourself. What you want to do first is make sure that you have your images uploaded, uh, most likely JPEG. You want to have your contact table. This is my contact table here, and this is my background right here. So what you want to do first is get the code and put it in your About Me section right there. I have it, so I'm just going to paste it. If you need it, just send me a message, and I'll send it to you. What you want to do first is find where it says Background Image. Um, right, which is right here. When I give you the code, the original code is going to say your image. What you want to do is get the URL and put it right there. Where you, where do you get the URL? You go right there to whatever image you want. This is my background image, which is 1600 by 800. You want to get the direct link and you want to put it in your about me section right there. Then what you want to do is go to the bottom and find where it says contact table contact table you see contact table and it's gonna ask you again for your image background image right here for the contact table you see do 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 it's right here and you want to get the URL for your contact table which was right here. You want to get the direct link, copy it, make sure you copy it, the whole thing, and you put it in between the parentheses right there. And you want to save, save those changes. And you want to hit refresh. And there you go. Now, the code that I have, it will allow you to put in your own extended banner if you wanted a color or image it would allow you to put an image up here or an image on the side right here it will allow you to put a banner up here if you want it will also allow you to make your name an image up here at the top it will allow you to make tables and it allows you to change the color of all these links and it allows you to change the color of your letters and if you want tables the background of the tables will be a different color but you have to actually go through the code and try I learned by trying every single thing and then hitting refresh to see how it changed so you're gonna have to go through that for yourself to understand it because it's it's pretty simple but it's something you have to learn for yourself in order how to do it, know how to do it um, the background color let me just touch on this right here all the colors in this code are RGB. What you want to do is find a place. I can send you this link as well so that you can get the RGB code. Mine is black. But all these numbers are the RGB code to all these letters. We're not going to use none of this hex stuff or the name. Everything in this code is RGB. It's just better that way. And just if you have any questions send me a message the next tutorial will be on how to make a gif image so you can make your picture a moving picture on adobe image ready um i recommend using tiny pic above photo bucket and for your url because they just are more efficient and if you need any other links or if you have any other questions, just send me a message. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you. Bye-bye.